In the wake of the Titanomachy, the tumultuous war that reshaped the cosmos, the victorious Olympians sought to establish a new order, a harmonious balance that would govern the heavens, the earth, and the underworld. At the forefront of this new pantheon stood Zeus, the lightning wielder, his authority undisputed, his power supreme. With the defeat of the Titans secured and their reign ended, Zeus and his siblings convened atop the lofty peaks of Mount Olympus, a place of divine majesty and the new seat of their celestial dominion. Mount Olympus, shrouded in clouds and majesty, rose high above the mortal realm, its peaks piercing the azure skies. Here, the Olympians would dwell, each god and goddess establishing their dominions and spheres of influence, crafting from this mountain fortress a home of immortals, a place where divine will shaped the fate of the world. Zeus, as the king of the gods, took his place upon the throne, his rule extending over the sky, thunder, and justice. His voice was law, his decrees carried by the winds to the furthest corners of the world. But his sovereignty was not that of a tyrant. It was anchored in the counsel of his divine siblings, and the alliances forged through the trials of war. Poseidon, the Earthshaker, claimed the vastness of the seas and oceans as his realm. With his trident, he calmed and stirred the waters, guiding sailors and claiming the lives of the unwary. His kingdoms were not just the surface territories of the seas, but also the deep, mysterious realms beneath, where creatures of myth and legend dwelled. Hades, the Unseen One, withdrew to the underworld, a domain separate yet integral to the cosmic balance. His kingdom was the final resting place of mortals, a realm of shades and spirits governed by rules as old as time itself. Hades' rule was fair but stern, his judgments final, overseeing the passage of souls to their eternal destinies. Hera, queen of the gods and Zeus's consort, presided over marriage and childbirth, her influence woven into the fabric of human relationships and the sanctity of the family. Her wisdom and guidance were sought by women across the mortal realm, her blessings both revered and feared. Demeter, bringer of seasons and goddess of the harvest, walked the earth, her moods reflected in the fertility of the land. Through her grace, crops grew and harvests were bountiful, her benevolence ensuring the sustenance of humanity. Yet. Her wrath could bring drought and famine, a reminder of her power over life and sustenance. Athena, born from the forehead of Zeus, embodied wisdom, strategy, and the arts of war. She was the patroness of heroes, her intellect and cunning pivotal in their quests. Cities and civilizations flourished under her patronage, Athens standing as a testament to her favor and protection. Apollo, god of the sun, music and prophecy, brought light to the world, his golden chariot marking the passage of day. His oracles, especially the Pythia at Delphi, spoke his will, guiding mortals and immortals alike through the cryptic mazes of fate. Artemis, Apollo's twin sister and goddess of the hunt, roamed the wilderness, her arrows swift and true. Protector of the young and patroness of childbirth, her domains were the untamed places of the world, her presence both nurturing and deadly. Ares, the god of war, reveled in the clash of battle, his might unparalleled in the heat of conflict. His followers sought his favor in war, yet feared the destruction and chaos that followed in his wake. Aphrodite, born from the sea foam, wielded the power of love and desire, her beauty ensnaring the hearts of gods and mortals. Her influences were felt in the whispers of lovers and the bonds that united hearts across the world. Hephaestus, the craftsman of the gods, forged their weapons and artifacts within the bowels of volcanoes, his creations unmatched in beauty and power. His skill shaped the tools of the gods and the destinies of those who wielded them. Together, these gods and goddesses formed the Olympian Order, a pantheon that presided over the cosmos from the heights of Mount Olympus. Their wills shaped the world, their dramas and passions reflecting the very essence of existence. In their hands lay the fates of mortals and the balance of the universe, a balance maintained through their wisdom, strength, and the intricate web of relationships that bound them together. The establishment of the Olympian order marked a golden age for the gods and humanity. 
an era where divine will and mortal lives were interwoven, each influencing the other in the ongoing saga of the cosmos. The tales of their deeds, their loves, their conflicts, and their triumphs would be told for generations, immortalizing their legacy in the stars, in the hearts of mortals, and in the very fabric of the world itself.